Hey guys and welcome to Nigrit. Today we're going to go over how to make this really cute, tabby, lucky cat version of the Slime Rancher. It's a bit of an addendum to our previous tutorial on how to make the tabby Slime Rancher cat. And I really like how this turned out. It's just a different version of it. And it's the same design, same pattern, same everything. It's just a little bit of a different coloring on it and a new headpiece to it. And uh, you can still do the little smiley face for it, for the for the mouth. I'll show a picture here. And you can still do the previous face where you have the eyes closed and the mouth open. Or the eyes open and do the little three mouth. For this one, I decided to go with what all the previous pictures were showing. With a closed eyes, closed mouth, little sideways three. Because when you go sideways, it looks like a three. Well, if you go sideways, it looks like a three. Either way. If you need a written pattern for this, there'll be one down in the description below and it'll be linked through Ravelry. Alright, let's get started. For this project you will need a size J or a 6mm crochet hook. I like this one because it's metal, it's a Susan Bates, it has a nice groove for the hook, and it's got a nice pointy top, which makes it a lot easier to pick up stitches and to crochet with. You're also going to need a darning needle black and pink puffy paint. You're also going to need a little trace amount, like maybe a couple yards of yellow. And this is all in worsted weight. You're also going to need this worsted weight. It's like a silver, it's like a whitish silver. It's a weird color, but it's Vanna's Choice and I really like it. And you can probably find it at any, I've always found it at any craft store that I've been at. You're also going to need some gray felt as well. All right, let's get started. So this is going to be more of a review than an actual tutorial tutorial as far as the actual basic shape is going. If you want to have a refresher on how to make this basic slime cat shape, I will have a link right over here in the annotations. There should be a little pop-up right there that will show you where to go for the original slime rancher uh, tabby cat amigurumi tutorial. And so here I'm just doing a little bit of a different version of it more than anything. So we're still going to do the same shape, same tail, same ears, except here we're going to use this opalish, like silverish almost. It's like a white weird color that uh, happens through Vanna's Choice. It's uh, it's not, it's like this weird silverish almost white. And I like it a lot and I think it matches the tabby cat a lot. And you're gonna take, instead of doing the dark heather gray that you use for the tabby, you're gonna use a light gray so that it's only slightly different on uh, there. And here on the ears, there's like this blank space where it's still the same color as the base right here. I took my same ear shape and I just cut it in the center and put one up here and one down there and took a little bit of the center off, if that makes any sense right there. It's super easy as far as the changes, so if you want to look at the tutorial that we made for that originally, it's right there. Here we made a basic circle, so here I made a magical ring and put six single crochet in it with my yellow yarn, increased every single stitch, and then every other slip stitched off, and then attached it to the forehead of my cat. I used hot glue because these are like plasticky, so I feel like the heat and all that stuff makes it meld better, and if you do it right, it's gonna stay attached just fine, and that's just my preferred method. And that's really all I did as far as like a change. This is more of an addendum than anything else. I'm using the face using puffy paint, so I'm using a pink for the lips, and I'm using a, it's puffy paint, but it's like scribbles, it's like an off-brand version of it, with black. I'm gonna do the eyes and make a click little eye right there. There, and then I'm gonna do the three mouth, which I, sh I had shown in the previous video in the center of the face right there, which is basically like a sideways three. And when I'm done with that and everything's dried, then you're really all done. And now that your face is all on and dry, that's really all there is to it. This is just a quick little video to show you that you can do the previous tutorial and make a just a little different version of it and um, make it into the really cute lucky cat. I, once I saw that I flipped my lid and I knew I had to make this version of it too and I'm really excited with how it came out. His face came out a little more lopsided than I like but you know kind of happened when your puffy paint tries to explode all over your creation. Be careful with these because they will go everywhere if the bottom of it decides to pop off. So like right there, this part decided to pop up and out. It took the path of least resistance 
and so I had to end up chopping up the chopping off the top here, which is why the eyes are so thick. But I still like how it turned out. I think it's very cute and anime-ish. So there's a U in the Lucky Cat one for the, the headpiece, but I didn't want to go into full detail because I didn't think that would turn out really well with the puffy paint, but I really like how it came out anyway. I like the more simplistic little token in the Lucky Cat's forehead. So really that's all there is to it. If you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel. It really does help us out. And uh, we also just updated our Patreon. So if you'd like to check us out there, if you want to donate towards our channel, that is amazing. And it helps us make more stuff to put on our channel and gives us more uh, supplies basically so that we can actually create all the really cool fun things. Uh, next up, I'm hopefully going to be making the red and the blue slime. So the petal slime and the, the basic slime, and I'm also going to be making a boom slime, the little lava looking guy. Those will be coming out hopefully in the next month. So if you like this, be sure to hit like and subscribe, and until next time guys.